guys, General Tourney here, your host, and welcome back, my friends, to a brand new episode on the channel. It is that time of the year where we are going to focus on maxing out our Town Hall level 11 base. Now, check this out. We're currently sitting at 4,000 trophies. What we're going to do over the next 10 days, we are going to max out our Town Hall 11 base, and then once that is completed, we are going to go for an all-time personal best trophy push to 6,000 trophies. Now, during Christmas, guys, about six months ago, we reached 5,820, but it's been a long time. We have max troops, max heroes, and of course, max spells this time, and I don't think there's going to be an issue to reach 6,000 cups. So let's just go ahead and check out what we actually have left to upgrade. We have maxed out everything except for three cannons. It says five, but two of them are currently upgrading. So we have three cannons left to max out. Sorry, four. And then we have five archer towers, guys. So it really isn't going to take long. We've got four here. That one's also currently upgrading. Sorry, three archer towers. That's it. So, you know, we don't really have too much, guys. Three archer towers, four cannons, five cannons. And that's pretty much it. So it's going to take us about five to ten days to max those, uh, those obstacles out, max those defenses. And then we're going to get ourselves into our all-time personal best trophy push. Now, leave a like on the episode if you are excited and want me to reach 6,000 trophies. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new, guys, and want to stay up to date with all the content. And let me know down below in that comment section, what is your all-time personal best trophy push and what town hall level are you? Let's see who has the highest records at their town hall level, guys. So check this out. We're going to go ahead and boost our barracks, our spell factories, and our heroes. And we're going to start this off in fashion by hopefully three-starring our first Town Hall level 11. Now, we have loads of elixir, loads of dark elixir. We don't need any of that. All we need is gold. So we are going to go on a hunt, see if we can find some huge gold raids. And uh, hopefully by the end of the episode, we might have almost enough to do an upgrade, guys. So we'll be back in a couple of moments. Once we land on a base with a huge loot offer, stay tuned. So check this out. We have landed on a Town Hall level 11. Now, there's only 250,000 gold, but if I work it out correctly, I think we're inside of the Champions 1 League. I can't remember. I think we're almost or inside of Champions 1. And that means we are going to get a big loot bonus, guys. So let's see if we can triple star this base. It is currently upgrading. Not one, but two Inferno Towers and an Expo. So we should walk all over this base. We're literally just going to come in from here. We're going to take out the Eagle Artillery nice and early. And uh, once that's down, guys, it is pretty much game over for this dude's base. Damn. Okay, those wall breakers did not get in, but that's cool. Okay, so we are going to be using a Queen Walk from... I'm actually going to drop in a Baby Dragon there. I'm going to drop in three healers there. And we're going to Queen Walk from this side right here. Gonna drop in a giant to distract the uh, the actual cannon and the archer tower as the wizard takes out the gold collector, guys. So here comes the defending CC. They are such low-level giants. I'm not even sure what level they are. My queen is legit one-shotting them, so that's awesome. And she's gonna swing over and do some damage to these buildings. So all we're trying to do is create a really quick funnel, destroy this base as quickly as possible, and uh, move on to the next one, guys. So check it out. There goes the cannon. There goes the air defense, and there goes the wizard tower. The queen's going to swing over to the right-hand side and hopefully join the rest of the troops here. So there go the giants. They're going to activate the eagle artillery. Is it activated? Yes, it is. There go the rest of the troops. Going to drop in a rage spell nice and early. Two peckers. Wizards going down just behind, and let's destroy this dude's base. So here we go. Let's rock and roll. Let's rumble. We are going to pop the Grand Warden's ability nice and early, making sure those bomb towers... Do not completely destroy my entire army, guys. There goes the final Rage Bell down into the center. And I'm going to call it now. This is going to be a really quick three-star, guys. So check it out. We got Giants in there. We got Heroes. We got Wizards. And uh, somewhere, we've got a couple of Peckers. They're about to roll into the center of the base. We've still got both Heroes' abilities to use. And we've still got ourselves a Baby Dragon. We're going to drop the Baby Dragon down on this left-hand side to take out the Archer Tower. And hopefully also grab us that double cannon, guys. Now, we are working towards, as I said, maxing out the entire Town Hall 11 base. And for anyone wondering, we don't have any walls to max out, guys. All my walls are maxed out. We have 225 level 11 lava walls. And we got 75 level 12 walls, guys. And you can only get a maximum of 75 walls right now in the game. Supercell has put a cap 
on the amount of level 12 walls you can actually get. So check it out, we got the hero still left alive. The, the attack strategy itself, it's kind of slow. It does take a while to actually destroy bases, guys, but it works. It picks up some nice loot, and it is extremely cheap. So, here we go. We're going to put that Queen's ability. We've only got, what is it, 25 seconds left in this raid. We're going to have to use a Barbarian King's ability as well. The Queen, is uh, she's going to get stuck on that wall, and although we would 3-star, I don't think we're actually going to, guys. We're going to run out of time. That's kind of sad, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. But it's cool. It's only a 10 loot offer, sorry, a 10 trophy offer, guys. And uh, to be honest with you, I just want to grab as much gold as possible. So there we go. Last gold storage goes down. I was going to end it, but there's only a second left in the battle anyway. A 92% two-star. Kind of sucks, but that is the way it goes. Six trophies, some gold. Let's move on, guys. So did we get any gold in our treasury? Nope, but if we three-star a base, we'll actually get ourselves a, uh, a star bonus. So let's go ahead and switch up the army a little bit. This is the army I'm currently using, but the wizards, they just kind of get wrecked. So we're going to drop out all wizards, and we're actually going to bring ourselves some Dark Elixir. So let's go for... Let's go for... Yeah, let's just go for those guys. Bowlers. Eight bowlers. That's cool. Okay, so let's train up that army. The next army's already locked and loaded, and uh, we just need to bring our heroes. We just need to gem the queen. That's it. Okay, Grand Warden King, hero spells, everything's ready. Let's roll out and see if we can actually triple star a base this time. Two stars, great, but three star is a lot better. Hold on. What league are we? We're in... Oh, we're almost in... We're almost in Titans 3. We can win one battle and pick up a three star if we get 17 trophies, guys. Here we go. Okay, let's attack this base. If we can three star this, we're going to be in Titans 3 league. So, I haven't been there for ages as well. Let's attack from the Eagle Artillery. Take out the Archer Queen. And hopefully wreck this dude's base. So there we go. Wall breakers in straight away. Straight onto a spring trap. Not the greatest start. But we're still into the core there. Check that out. We've got an entry point. So what we're going to do. I'm actually going to play this very smart. I'm going to use four giants to try and take down the, um, the actual air defense there. And hopefully if they grab that. I'm going to be in a great shot here to use baby dragons to maybe do some extra damage so obviously we lost those giants but now we've got maybe two more and a couple of wizards just behind let's drop down another two guys our giants are drastically dropping here here we go come on boys you can do it one more shot from my giants and there goes the air defense and now we can take on these buildings okay so let's start with a baby dragon there and we're gonna start with a queen walk from this side here She's just pretty much going to clean all those buildings. There goes the queen. And we're going to drop our other baby dragon just down the bottom here. Just to take out some of those buildings, guys. And hopefully do some good damage. So here we go. There goes a rage spell. There goes the BK, the Grand Warden. And uh, we're going to have to put the Archer Queen's ability down. This ain't going great, guys. But here we go. Giants coming in from the left-hand side. Pekkas have been split up. Wizards just behind. Let's see if we can do some damage. So we've already taken out the defending Archer Queen, guys. There goes another Rage Spell. We need this Grand Warden to follow these troops into the center. Poison Spell goes down. There goes the first Inferno Tower, guys. And there goes the Grand Warden's ability, making sure all our troops are protected from the Eagle Artillery. And, of course, the Inferno Tower for a couple of seconds. Pekka's into the core. Looks like the second Inferno Tower is about to get it, guys. And uh, all three heroes are currently standing up and alive. There goes one of the air defenses in the center. The Archer Queen still doing some damage, although we had to use her ability nice and early. Here we go. Can we pick up a three star? That is the question. Two stars in the bag. There goes the Barbarian King's ability. You need to take out that air defense ASAP. Looks like we've lost, though, every single one of our healers. That kind of sucks. But we've still got a slight chance here of doing some great damage to this base, guys. There's not really too much in terms of defenses left. But what is there is extremely spread out. If this Pekka can take out that cannon, that would be helpful. There we go, she done it. And uh, it looks like she's just gone down. And my Archer Queen, all on her own over on the right-hand side. You know what? Let's give it up, guys. 13 trophies. May as well do our final attack of the video. And uh, that's going to grab us another couple of million loot, I believe. So let's gem up the army. This time, we've dropped out the wizards. We have opted for a Dark Elixir troop, and I'm hoping... It's going to do us a little bit of justice because Wizards these days, although they are maxed out level 8 guys, they're still nowhere near as OP 
as those uh, those level three bowlers. So that's actually quite a lot of uh, of trophies. But I want to find some gold, guys. I want to find some gold. So we're looking for something in the region of maybe quarter a million at least, and uh, hopefully going up to four five hundred thousand. So we'll be back in a couple of months. Oh, here we go, half a million gold. Single target Inferno Towers. Couldn't ask for anything better. Let's do this. Okay, so we are going to strike. Oh, no. I clicked the next button by accident. Wow. That absolutely. Oh, here we go. Another one, guys. Okay, but this dude's got level 5 Inferno Towers. A lot harder. But we're going to take on the challenge. This dude's base is almost the same. Single target Inferno Tower and a multi-target right next to the Eagle Artillery. So, what we're going to do... We're going to try to create a funnel on... Where's the air defenses? Okay, air defenses. Oh, check that out. He's got a birthday cake. For those of you that missed the first episode, I actually removed a birthday cake on the Captain Tony account, guys. So make sure to go and check that out if you haven't seen it already. But he's also got a lot of gold, a lot of dark elixir, and a lot of elixir. So we're going to start this off by doing a queen walk. We are going to queen walk this side here. There go three healers. Gonna drop a baby dragon down on that um that actual army camp, guys. And we're also gonna see if we can take out this wall here on the left hand side. So here we go. Wall breakers have split up. Just about oh, almost made it into the center, but not quite, guys. So here we go. There goes the BK. Another baby dragon goes down. Bowler's gonna rush into the base. There goes the two peckers. Giants down, guys. And uh, we're gonna rock into the center. First rage spell has been deployed. Let's do this. Here we go. We're going to have to put that Grand Warden's ability really early because my P.E.K.K.A. has actually been targeted by a single target Inferno Tower. And I want to try and save her, but she's going to die. Single target Inferno Tower kills my P.E.K.K.A. Dropping down the poison spell on the Archer Queen in the center. We're going to use the Barbarian King's ability nice and early over on the left hand side. He's going to Stormtroop his way up the actual top of the base, guys. Another Rage Spell goes down in the center. There goes the Town Hall, 48% one star secured, second star just about comes in the bag. There we go guys, let's see if we can keep on climbing. That's going to take me into the Titans 3 League, which I am very happy with guys. The first time we've left the Champions League in almost 6 months. It has been a long time since I've done a trophy push on this main base. But before we start it, as I said, we are looking to do at least, well pretty much just max out the entire base. That's the plan anyway. Here we go, the Archer Queen in the center, guys, taking some shots off the defending Grand Warden, but she kills him. He's down, and we've actually got a good bowler walk going around the, uh, the right-hand side. Here we go. Archer Queen ability going to get used. She's going to take out the, uh, the Wizard Tower, look onto the wall, get through there with a the Grand Warden, and they are going to meet up once again with the, uh, the Bowler Army going around the right-hand side. Pretty much backed up by a couple of healers, and uh, there's a chance here. Of a three star, I must admit a very slim chance considering there's only 30 seconds left in the battle, but let's see if we can do it. This dude rocking the level 15 archer towers and cannons, guys, so he's got a very powerful pace, and uh, it looks like there is a great chance here. 90% damn, nope, not gonna happen. Check out the double cannon down the bottom, guys, but I'm afraid it comes simply down to time. I've noticed the last couple of days all these cheap armies. They're great, they're effective, they can actually 3-star town or 11s. But what happens is you just simply run out of time, guys. But there we go, 93% 2-star. Titans League in the bag, guys, for the first time in a long time. Back inside of the Titans 3 League, a bigger loot bonus. Let's go ahead and collect that gold, and that's going to take me up to 5 million. Not too bad. I think we farmed up about 2 million in the video, guys. So we're going to win this episode here. Stay tuned for the next one shortly. I'll see you soon, guys. Have a great day. Peace out.